You know what time it is? It's Mama Yum Yum time. A whole lot of laughing, a little bit of dishing. It's all right here in Mama Yum Yum's kitchen. This week, we're cruising around the Bahamas. We're going to take in some local culture and we're going to try some of the local flavors. We'll see what they do with coconuts here. And if you happen to get seasick and turn as green as your coconut, I'll tell you what you can eat to maybe make it better. Don't try this at home and be really careful when you're handling knives. You don't want to get the point. Oh, look at the baby one. It's a Chinese one. A Chinese cookbook yes. well, from the Bahamas. All right, let me show you. This is the mama coconut and this is the baby coconut. Enjoy yourself. Do whatever you want to do in the Bahamas. Yum, yum. If someone tells you you can't do it, come see us. That was fun. Now let's head on back to the boat and I'll tell you what you can take in case you feel seasick. I'm on the deck of the cruise ship and frankly, I don't feel so good. I think I've eaten too much of the rich foods and the seas have been kind of rough. You know what, I think I might have seasickness and I have some solutions for you if you're suffering from the same thing. Let me show you. There's some foods you can eat that can fill the bill and help you with your seasickness. Green apples, they're good for juggling. And better yet, if you're seasick, take a bite. I've been told that they really help. The other food is anything with ginger in it. And my preference is ginger snaps. Mmm, delicious and they make you feel good. And if all else fails, there's always motion sickness medicine. Never leave home without it if you're going on a cruise. When the drink makes blow and it's nice and balmy, just remember, call your mommy. <laughs> 